Hello everybody, this is Brandon Lee here, and I guess it's time for a second Tennessee RPG developer update. Um, I'm planning on doing this every month, uh, every month on the 8th to be exact. So yeah, so let's get started. So what I've mainly worked on is the battle scene. So. He, in here, I've gotten a couple things finished, so we can go ahead and play. So, I've created techniques. Basically, these are just some demo techniques. Um, you're able to do more powerful attacks. Now, I can't quite remember if last update I had techniques, per se, but um, I've gotten a lot of them done. So. No, there's that. Also, there's these power points down here, which I don't think that's gonna be the final name of it because uh, power points is a little bit generic. So I'm gonna try to go with my own thing there. Um, and unfortunately, my power points do not. I don't have enough power points uh, to use any technique right now. So it plays a little cancel noise saying hey you can't use a technique here so yeah so there's that but if I did have enough uh, I would do basically a more powerful attack so that way battles can go faster and you would have a more of an advantage towards the enemy second thing I want to go over is those win and lose screens. So let's say I, I'm gonna, you know, I'm in an intense battle here and I'm trying to defend but it doesn't work because my luck is really bad. I know it doesn't, it looks like a, you can't even, all right, there we go. So I have a you lost screen and basically what it is, it's going to, there's gonna be two options here. One, where you can continue on in the game and quit if you don't, if you feel like you can't go on any further and you just want to take a break from the game. Quit. So this is a pretty generic lose screen. I'm just going to hit continue. Actually, no, just quit for now. Oh, hey, look, a bug. Wonderful. I'll have to fix that for the next update. Um, now let's say I'm in a battle and I win. So let's say I was an advantage of the enemy and I was winning and I win. So this is what it would be like. You would, you know, attack the enemy. Oh, hey look, he defended. Wonderful. So it displays this. It says, hey, you won. Or you win. It would show the amount of experience. And I'm not quite done with this experience counter yet. And you can continue on in the game. So that's all of there really is for the um, the battle scene for now. Um, but a little later, I'll show you a little thing that I've gone around to implementing. So let's go ahead and hit continue here. So it brings you into the game, and you might have noticed I have a new graphic for the player, and I'm gonna get new graphics. Fortunately, uh, I have a friend who was doing the graphics for me, but he never really got around to it, so I had to use those graphics that I made. Fortunately, we don't have to use those anymore because those really, those are really bad. But yeah, we got some new player sprites here, as well as a sister sprite. This is your sister, um, and I believe that's it. Uh, I have a whole bunch of more characters that I haven't gotten around to putting in yet, but there's around 10 sprites, so those will be showcased in a later vlog. But for now, um, yeah, this is it. Um, new sprites. Uh, one really important thing is the fact that I can now have more than one enemy. So. In the previous devlog, all you could fight was the demo sprite, and let's be honest here, if the entire game was just fighting demo sprites, that would not be fun. So I added enemies, or so I, I can talk to my sister, and what the heck. Oh, 
that's another feature I've gone around implementing. So after walking a while, around for a while, you'll run into a random enemy. Um, those are just random encounters. So, yeah, if you walk around in a circle for enough, you'll run into an enemy. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go fight my sister. Yeah! And then now I am fighting my sister. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Here's another thing. So I have merged these two scenes, file select and main menu, just for music purposes, first of all, and secondly, it makes loading faster, so if you want to get into the game faster, you don't have to wait for the extra scene to load. And it's just easier to manage that way, because if I want to edit the main menu and then do the file select the main menu, I don't have to switch scenes constantly. So, uh, if you hit play here, it'll bring you to the file selects, new game load back, and you can see I can instantly switch these, whereas earlier you had to wait a couple seconds for the file select scene to load. So I just merged them, and yeah. Okay, so one thing that you might have noticed is that I have flight music implemented. So there's that, and also I have a sound effect for when the player gets hit and when the enemy gets hit. And it might not be easy to notice, because if they attack, the attack sound effect and the hit sound effect will play at the same time, so it's a little difficult to notice. I'll have to make a sound effect in general for when the ball starts moving, so that'll be fixed. That's really all there is to it. Um, Hope you enjoyed. Maybe uh, in the next devlog there will be a lot more features implemented. I wish I could have gotten more in, but I just haven't had the time recently. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all in the next update.